Hello folks, it's me, it's me, it's Mr. B, YouTube's best kept secret and greatest guardian, YouTuber, streamer in the world. And he's glad to see that my first review of 2020 was supposed to be Nova Drift, but now it's ended up being something else. <laughs> just, to, just to throw a curveball at you. Um, today, it's, today I got access to this. Now, normally when I do a review, I do the good, bad and ugly sort of thing, but I'm changing things up this year. I'm doing things different. Um, see, there's a YouTuber that I really like called Jim Sterling. And I like the way he does reviews because he's very honest. And I'm going to try it, see if you like it. If you don't like this style, put it in the comments and I'll change your back, I suppose. But this is a a different way. It's This is my way of doing it, sort of live, live testing. So you get my honest opinions. Now, I have played a couple of hours of this and... My God, uh, uh, he's fucking awful. <laughs> he's fucking terrible, but it's that bad. It's actually funny. Um, most of the fights you can get through um, just, but anyway, I'll come back to that in a minute. So basically, what the Cruise Brothers is, it is a simple 1v1 or 2v2 co-op fighting um, simulator um, done in the style of what I can only imagine is cardboard characters with pins in them that's what it looks like you'll see in a minute it's actually um, yeah you'll see you, when you start the game you start here this is from DCF Studios by the way it's an indie, indie company um, obviously you've got to give that a bit of leeway you've got to take that into consideration we're not talking like Bioware here you know it's a little indie um, development DC, DCFU look DCFU there, there's the DCFU logo the gaming universe from DCFU Studios or DCF Studios whatever you are big extravagant calling it a universe but still um so yes yeah, so here it is now there are certain things you can do although there looks like there's a lot here there actually isn't a lot here so you've got your main game modes um disregard what's new so you've got your story mode worse st i'll get to that in a minute but we will come to that shortly king of the hill for what i understand is fecking pointless i literally went through 20 fights just spamming circle didn't lose once and it still only tells me I'm on level one, so it worked that one out. Um, challenge mode is single player mode, uh, as you can see at the bottom. Challenging you know, other training centers and increase your confidence. Career mode is pretty much a career mode, you just go up the ranks. I haven't got past the first fight yet, so I can't really be arsed with it. Um, Brawl Knight, Philip Cruz is one of the main characters in the game, is a well known Brazilian MMA fighter, owner of all the belts from his weight class in Brazil. Follow flip steps and join a series of MMA championships. So basically, Brawl Knight is what it is. It's, you know, you just go through, as you can see, you've got uh, different fights that you go through, the seven stages, all that sort of jobby. You've then got, now this is Spets Fest. This is like Spets now, so I'm guessing some sort of Russian thing. Um, fight beside a partner. Now, it's single player, so I'm guessing you get an AI character. Now, if AI is like anything like the computer's AI, yeah, I'll leave that one alone completely. Um, up to four players, so I'm guessing four players can share a screen. Um, Spec Nance 2v2. I told you, Spec stands rushing dinner. And then you obviously got fighter versus fighter. Um, sparring. Now, sparring is literally the biggest waste of time in the world. I mean, I'll show you this for you, see? Because all it allows you to do is practice. Just pick one. For f all it allows you to do is literally just practice attacking, but the other person doesn't fight back, or it hasn't watched it fight back now and actually whooped my ass. <laughs> but it's, it doesn't actually attack um, from the five different bouts that I've had. So here we are now. We're just loading into a match now. Um, whoever it picked to fight me. Round one. Now, as you can see, you see what I mean fight. about the the sort of I mean, this is your character here. The the movement is so 
it, it just not, there's no fluid movement at all. I mean, you, you can double tap for that sort of stuff, but bear in mind, Miguel D's like an end game player. So you've got that for quick movement if you're on, but if you just want to move forward, I mean, look how bad that looks. It, it literally does look like a couple of cardboard cutouts with pins in them to move the joints. Now, fighting ain't much better. You've got you've got three buttons to fight with. You've obviously got circle, triangle, square. Now, they all do different things. Um, one of them's a hard attack, one a quick attack. Um, one of them's like a medium attack, obviously. You can interchange between the three for little combos. You know, not too bad. Let's get this finished. So, like I said, it doesn't fight back, so it's kind of just... I suppose it's there for you to practice combos with, but... Really, what's the point? When you can actually win the whole fight with just pressing one button. So now you can notice, that you've also got a couple more mechanics I'll let you know about. See the little flashing squares? I mean, I've got a, a non-flashing square, it's got a love out with a thing through it. You can actually regenerate your health like that. That regenerate your health if you're low on health. Adds a little bit of tactical playing to it. Just try and knock this kid down, see if I can get me a thing up. Come on, give me my super. Gonna, gonna give me a super. Although this looks flashy, bear in mind this is one of the end game characters, so it's not like you know, every character does this. The, each character has different finishing moves and different fighting styles. Right, so here we go. So you get these super, which all you have to do is press L2. Simple as that. So that's that. Now, Apart from the looks, which I'm I'm hoping was a deliberate art style, because if it wasn't, then oh, D DCF can go back to the training board. If it wasn't, if it's not a deliberate art style, um, the problem with the fighting, a you can't judge distance. Um, sometimes you can be stood right next to them and swing like you know like the clappers, and you're not hitting them. When another time you can be, you know, like five mile away and hit them. It's it's weird. The, it does weird shit, which I'm hoping that it does in the fights that we're gonna do together. Where it'll just teleport you to the back of the map, and you're like, but I was on top of him, eh? Hey, eh? that sort of thing. Now the story mode. Now we're gonna talk about the story mode now, because this is this has hit new levels. I thought the worst fighting game I ever played was Shaq Fu. Um, the story, it was one of them games, it was so bad, it was funny. The story just had me in stitches. But not as much as this one. Now, I'm not going to ruin the game for you. I'm just going to do the first fight against Trevor. Trevor. Um, and I'm just going to let you watch the very first opening sequence or whatever it is. You, you know, the, the opening video. There's not much to it, so don't worry, but we'll, you'll get an idea of why I say what I'm going to say afterwards. So, I'll let you watch it when it loads, which it will load eventually. There we go. Chapter 1, Subversion Scars Fight 1. <clears throat> Enjoy. I would give my kingdom an exchange for a bar at this point. At the bottom of an empty glass, that's where we're able to remember the good and forget the bad. That's all that I need. You're not getting soft on these kids, huh, Marcus? I can't, Ryan. Look, if there was an island called Evolution, the bridge to it would be called Discipline. Ryan was my best fighter. Born boxer with a heart of gold. All the kids wanted to be like him, especially now that he had been invited to the biggest boxing event on the planet. 
pride fists. It was his turn to shine. But, unfortunately, life is not always fair. Tell me, Ryan, what are you gonna do after becoming the world champion? This is about to happen, man. If God blesses me and I achieve that goal, I will take care of the family first, right, Marcus? Then inspire the kids, give them some lessons, do what you taught me, do what I can to make this world a better place. <laughs> Sir, I can't, I can't. I can't get past that bit without laughing. <laughs> Ass bitch. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Are you crazy? What's up, boy? Are you banging that? Let me handle it. <laughs> Look, Let Mayhem, me I've already it. seen who wears the panties in this relationship. Now you'll learn what street boxing is, bitch. There are moments in life when we just can't sit on the fence. So I pray that my fists would guide me and that justice would be done. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> I don't mind the comic book styling. I, I get that. And and from a, a cost point of view, I get why it's done. So obviously, it does save a lot of costs in actually creating cutscenes. My problem is the writing and the voice acting. <laughs> when you combine the two, it is so bad. It is laughable. <laughs> I mean, I have literally sat there giggling. There's more cutscenes, which I'm not going to show, obviously, because I don't want to spoil any more of the game should you really want to play this. Um, it, it's just, it honestly, it it just begs belief how writing can be so bad. Wow. And the acting, it just sounds like they've stuck my headset on. Oh, hang on, right, here we go, here we go. So you got the, this is the first match. We've got this dude with, the, with oh, it, it piss off. Now, you're going to notice something with the AI. <laughs> What it, I'll let it knock me down. Just watch what it does. Come on, knock me down. Knock me down. Come on, knock me down. You pussy, knock me down. Come on. Whoa. Oh. Fuck it, I'll knock him down. Come on, knock me down. Come on. Just, there, there you go. Right, so right, watch what it does. He's nowhere near me, but he's just spamming it. Hey, look, that's, that's exactly what the AI does. It sits above you and just spams attacks over and over and over again. There's no tactic from the AI apart from spamming attacks. So, yeah, there's no real tactics to it. It's not really... I mean, you can literally fight this whole game, get through every match doing nothing but hitting one button. Sometimes you'll get your ass whooped every now and again. It's just like right, this way, it's just spamming attacks. There's nothing you can do against it. You can try and be a bit tactical, maybe switching things up, pressing a few different other buttons. Or you can just, you know. Hold L2 and use your super. There you go. Rev Corner wins. And it's just, I don't know. The fighting just doesn't seem right. It's just spam buttons. And especially when you can get through every fight with just hitting one button. I actually, this is a God's honest truth, and Mrs. B will attest to this. I fell asleep. Well, not, it sort of like dozed. My head went back in my chair. My headset fell off my head. But I was still pressing square. And I still somehow managed to win the fight. <laughs> and then here's, here's another thing that winds me up about this game. You've just finished the fight, yeah? It's downloading up the, the next screen where it shows you how well you've done. You've got to press X to get to the next screen. Why? Why? What possible reason do I need to press X to load up another screen just to get to my rewards part? Why can't I just go from the fight to the rewards part? The amount of times I've sat there thinking, bloody hell, it's loading screen. It's taken a while and I've missed the little comfort. Look, there we go again. Confirm X. Why does it take me straight to this screen? 
cut out all the Confirm X shit and this, it would flow so much better. And that is the prime problem with this game. It doesn't flow. It really doesn't. Does that mean that this game is completely utter garbage? Well, no. And I know surprising because there is a place that I can see where this game would have its place in your library. I'm hoping it's going to be free to play. I doubt it. Um, if they do charge, I very much doubt they'll charge more than a tenner. If they do, Jesus wept. Um, but there is, that's this one. Now, can you imagine, and where are we? Where are we? Uh, where are we? Where's up to four players. So you get your friends around, you all have some beers, and it would be hilarious on a big screen doing this with your mates. Assuming, I mean, it says up to four players, but, so I'm assuming you can actually pick some players with your mates. Yeah, you can. Look, you see the little squares there, so you can all pick one. So if you've got four controllers connected, jobs are done. Um, so if you're all pissed up, you can have a fight now. This game would be perfect for that. You're like losers, drink a drink or whatever. It would be absolutely perfect for that. Um, so yeah, so that's story mode. It's pretty much, as far as length is concerned, the, I think there's 21 fighters in total over how many chapters? 12 chapters. Um, so 21 fights. It, you've got about, each fight takes roughly three or four minutes to finish depending if you manage to get past one or not. So you've got about an hour's worth of story content. Um, if that bothers you, you're not going to be paying for this game for the story content anyway. Um, it's pretty much just tacked on. In, in the same way that the... Um, oh, what game was it? Was it Overwatch? I'm thinking Overwatch for some reason. There was a story tacked onto a fighting game where it was just pointless. I can't remember what it was now, but it was just absolutely... And this is the same thing. I think story mode was put in at the last minute. Wouldn't it be great to have a story mode in it? Well, we've already made the game. Yeah, but if we just put some, like, comic book cutscenes together, then jobs are good. Un. Um, So I've, I think that's what they've done here. Um, Everything else is pretty much sort of, like, test your skills. There is no tutorial. Bear that in mind. Everything that I've shown you now, I've had to figure out myself. There are... A commands button here, but that's all you get. Um, so you can taunt, you know, you got your super, you got your motion dodge, healing recovery, um, your block, your strong, your walk attack, your fast attack, your strong attack. Why there are two strong attacks, I don't know, but there you go. But as far as like, you know, like a, um, a command list, you know, like you get in Mortal Kombat or something like that, where... Square, square, triangle, circle, square, square, up, down, left, right, do some yoga and make a cup of tea, we'll do a fatality thing. That's There's none of that in here. So don't be expecting a combo list, although you can do some fancy combos. Um, I have managed to pull off a few combos. Let's see if we can pull one off one sec. Let's see if we can get a combo going so I can show you what it looks like. And we'll just do that tutorial, by the way. Don't be thinking, oh, but Mr. B, there's a tutorial there. No, there really isn't. It just tells you that. It's literally just a couple of segments telling you what each bit is. I mean, you even, got, you even get your skills. And it just tells you what they do. <laughs> There's no, there is no list. So I would love for them to really improve this game. For me, they've got to improve the movement um, of the, the fighters. They need to improve the AI so it's not just spam attack. They need to put an actual command list in where we can see what um, soup, what combos do what and yeah i mean the the combos itself they don't look too bad they're a bit flashy i'll see if i can get one in the uh game modes everything's just upcoming um game modes game of sparring see if we can get a combo going in here oh, i know this guy has a couple the one thing, there are a couple of good things oh, about this game, yeah. however. All the fighters, I mean, you've got quite a different array of fighters to choose from, and a diff quite a few different stadiums, although some of them, as you can see, are just MMA stadiums with a few different ring colours. Um, but they do have quite a few different uh, fighters there, all with their own supers and all with their own moveset. So that commended, you know, they've actually put some decent amount of... Um, variety there as far as the fighters are concerned. I just wish they moved better. 
or fought better. You know, just this is, the fighting just doesn't seem quite right. It's very clunky. I think it's it's a lot like when you used to use your um, toys as a kid to do wrestling moves with each other. You know, like when you get your wrestling ring, you get your Hulk Hogan, your Ultimate Warrior with your toys, one in your left hand, one in your right hand, and that, that's how it feels. It's exactly. Sit your another X button to continue. Just came into the fucking fart one. That's basically just how it feels. It's not. Round one. It's not brilliant. Let's so what we're gonna on. do? Um, I'm just gonna try and get a combo going. <laughs> it tells you at the bottom when you've done one. Um, so, right, so circle, triangle, circle. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm actually managing to hit myself there. We got. We did something there. I don't know what it was. That's just a, like a little circle attack. If you spam circle, by the way, or spam any of them, it does Red like a Thunder little combo wins. on its own. But you can mix and match, so it just doesn't... See, there are actual commands you can put in to mix and match to actually make up the combos, and it comes up above the little Round P1 two. sign. When you've done it, Let's it'll say, it like... On. And it doesn't does tell you what buttons you press, it just gives you pictures. And you're like, well... Which one was it? What what one did I press? I mean, is the other guy there you go, can you see it flashing? Roger. There you go, right, so... Roger. I don't, I don't really... Roger. There, I think, I think I did one. Roger. So, you see, get the idea, Carter but it's not... Wins. I don't know, he needs a lot of work. But as you know, as the game goes, as the fighting game goes, it's not too bad. It needs a lot of work. It's not what something I would say you should run out and buy straight away. If I was to score this game out of ten, it would hit mid probably three. I give it a three. Possibly four. It could get to a five if if they took all these fecking X buttons out to continue every two fecking minutes, if they improved the AI of the fighting, and if they put a command system in so you actually know what to fucking press. If they did all that, they would get, for me, it would get up to a five, at least. At the moment, it's a bit hapdash. So yeah, so there you go. There's my first review of 2020. There will be another review coming for Nova Shift or Nova Storm. I can't quite remember the name of it. It's a PC game. I don't normally do PCs. This is a nice little cheek, cheeky little game, actually. It's not too bad. So until next time, that's all for me, Mr. B. Ta-ta for now.